I felt like having some scotch. I love scotch. I like what I like. That's why I'm having scotch, because I like it. And I thought I'd turn this on because I have the opportunity for a fun little taste test. Um, <laughs> I have... <laughs> I have some crappy fucking scotch, just a blended scotch whiskey, with all due respect to the fine people at Highland Queen. <laughs> I just didn't actually, since 1561, holy shit. So, Highland Queen, I would consider this a low-end, perfectly fine, aff <laughs> affordable blended scotch and then I happen to procure a bottle on sale um, of uh, some red label which is a formidable competitor at a medium level of blended scotch and then I have The Macallan. This is 12. I'm going to go out on a limb here and tell you that while I find the 18-year-old to be incredibly good, it's not that much better than the 12 to warrant the outrageous expenditure. I'm just one of those people. It doesn't really impress me. 18 is good. However, I have found that the 25, though better, is so unbelievably expensive that it doesn't really matter, right? Um, I just, I, I like, I like 12, you know, the Macallan 12. This is not blended. This is a single malt. <laughs> It makes me chuckle. The, uh, okay. What the hey? I did go about the business of, uh, having three separate little <coughs> scotch delivery system containers. <laughs> so, let's just try a little bit. Highland Queen. Crack open the red label. Oops, little more. Oh well. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> oh, McAllen, come to Papa. <clears throat> so there we go. <laughs> To be fair, don't I need a little more of the Highland Queen to approximate? I have a teeny little, I have a teeny little snort left. I'll put that away. When I'm out of the other stuff, I can always find that in the back of the closet and yum yum. Okay, so let's hit it. Highland Queen. light, perfectly respectable aftertaste, has a nice feel, not, not peaty, this is a very mild, this is something along the lines of, you know, in, in the world of single malt, you know, Glenlivet is very, very mild when it comes to that stuff, right? But this is not Glenlivet. <laughs> That's the Highland Queen. <clears throat> okay. No, I'm not going to cleanse my palate. What kind of freaking <clears throat> high and high and lofty bozo are you? <laughs> okay, skull.
Okay, so that actually has more robust flavor. Okay, there's a feeling of, there's actually a notable difference between the Highland Queen, which is very, very mild, very easy going, and the red is more flowery. It also has some uh, peatiness. You can actually, you can, you can smell and taste that peatiness at the top of the back of the palate. It is there. And I'm not, I'm not Mr. Aficionado, you know, calling things, ooh, look at the legs on this. Ooh, the wine has a fine sense of humor. No, but you can clearly taste and smell the difference in uh, between these two. Yeah, definitely has some peaty stuff going on there. And I'm not talking about going toward the massively peaty stuff like the Lagavulin or the Talisker, but it is there. You can sense that. Sherry cask aged single malts like the Macallan and the Aberlore. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh man. No peatiness. Not, there's there's a sense that the peat is there. But this is not about peat. This is about that sherry cask aged robust flavor. Man, is Macallan good. Real Macallan. Ah, I love this stuff. <clears throat> Shit, I gave it away. I was gonna, I was gonna say, so which one do I prefer? Ah, it's close, but I'm gonna go with the Highland Queen. But I, <laughs> I blew it. Macallan is aged in sherry casks. The sherry casks are oak casks that age sherry in Spain. After the aging process. For the sherry that's resting in those oak casks for many years, those sherry casks emptied are sent, are shipped to the distillery. In this particular case, it's the Macallan Distillery. And then scotch is put in those casks and the wood infuses the scotch with the remnants of the sherry. Sherry is a fantastic complement to scotch and not only that but scotch is a fantastic complement to sherry so after the aging process with the scotch in those sherry casks is completed in this particular case it's you know 12 year then those casks are shipped back to Spain, where they are then filled with sherry to age with the remnants of the scotch feel in the wood. And there is a mellowing, and it's evident here. Macallan is a really good product. It's such a nice flavor. So <laughs> I gave it away. I was going to, uh, I was going to pretend to be a real woodchuck and <laughs> go for the Highland Queen, but <clears throat> I'll say this, um, when I don't feel like ponying up the money for a fancy bottle of scotch, I like scotch and even shitty scotch is good scotch. So, you know, and there's a pleasure in that stuff. It's perfectly fine. You can, you know, you can add some ice. You can add some soda water. You know, I have this, you know, here's a soda stream thing here, right? 
he can put it in a big mug. You know? <laughs> yeah, there is a difference. There is a difference. Cheapest, slightly more expensive, and relatively fancy. You can go way up from there, but it's not necessary in my opinion. You know, I, I don't I don't drool over the fact that someone has some really, really fancy stuff, because I've had really, really fancy stuff, and I always enjoy that, but for me, it's not about that on a regular basis. It's just a pleasure <laughs> to have a nice, a nice little, uh, a nice little smattering of, a, of, uh, of three, so I could do a nice taste test for you. Cool. Go get him. Take no prisoners. Yar, matey. Yar. <laughs>